recently, Origin Lab released its new Import Shapefile app, allowing users to import spatial data formatted in Esri shapefiles, one of the standard formats used by geographic repositories the world over. For example, let's go into the app gallery and import some state boundaries for Massachusetts. Once our shapefiles have been selected, we can adjust the display options like the line style, width, and color. When adding shapefiles to pre-existing graphs, we can also rescale our graph axes. This is especially useful if we're adding these files to pre-existing graph windows. If you want to modify the boundaries of your shapefile, this can be done by turning on the partial modification feature. This will, however, make the data considerably larger and less timely to process. And lastly, if we want to place the raw data for this shapefile on a new worksheet, we can click the arrow to the right of that dialog and select New. As you can see, the points from our shapefile have been translated into raw data, as well as an index based on the features of our original shapefile. Now that we have our outline, let's overlay some more spatial data. In this case, perhaps we want to see the state's network of aqueducts servicing Boston. Let's go back to our app and select our aqueduct shapefile. Give the lines some symbology that is easy to distinguish, but since they are within the boundaries of our state, make certain that the rescale source tick box remains unchecked, otherwise the graph will make these lines the extent of our window's boundaries. As you can see, the aqueduct network is overlaid on our map, but there are some sections missing. To show why, let's open our app one more time and input some data on Massachusetts bodies of water. Because this shapefile is polygon data rather than lines, you'll see an additional fill option in the app dialog. For this reason, let's set our line width to zero, keeping everything else default. We can now see the advanced system of aqueducts connecting Springfield Reservoir to the Quabbin and Wachusett Reservoirs, forming the intricate network supplying Springfield's backup and Boston's primary drinking water. For this next example, let's say we have shapefiles of two adjacent countries. First, we've imported a file of Germany. Next, to import a similar shapefile of France's boundaries, we'll need to go back into the shapefile window and check Rescale Source by Shapefile. You'll see that our scale has been adjusted to include the boundaries of both countries. You may notice that because this data was given in latitude and longitudinal coordinates, unlike our Massachusetts data, the numbers on our axes accurately reflect the values of these coordinates.